and curtsy. I'm almost ready for my dance recital. Dress rehearsal, done. Programs, printed. Refreshments, <gasps> Barry, are the cookies ready? Almost! Nothing says, welcome to Pumpkin's dance recital, like a gingerbread cat cookie. Hmm, I thought they were saying, eat me, treasure. Mm -hmm. Oh, you? <laughs> you have to wait for the dance. Now, will you please hand me the sprinkles? Aye, aye, sprinkles for her royal sweetness. Hmm, these are the shiniest. Here you go. Thank you. <gasps> oh, my blueberry pie. What kind of sprinkles did you give me? Oh, Splendificent. That's where I left my magic glitter bits. Magic glitter bits? Oops. Oh, help. Please stop this cookie fiasco! This, this dessert disaster! You might even call it a catastrophe. Get it? cat catastrophe? Because they're kidding, cookie? <laughs> Treasure, it's not funny. My show will be ruined if you don't catch those cookies. Aye, aye. There they are. Catch them! Gotcha! <laughs> <laughs> Dear Cookie Cookie. Meow, meow. Ah. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. With those cookies running about, I won't be able to perform my perfect pirouettes or my lovely leaps. Meow, meow, meow. <gasps> Keep dancing, pumpkin! Oh, if you like. <laughs> Everybody dance! Meow. These cookies are good! All right, Pumpkin! Bring them over here! Looky, looky, dookie! Go back and be a cookie! Oh, no, <laughs> wait! May I keep them? Just for the show? I promise they'll behave! I'll help! Well... All right! The show can go on! The cookie boogie. Hooray! Hooray! Heads on the hunt. Welcome to the first annual Whisker Haven scavenger hunt. Each team has a clue. You must solve your clue and find your item so we can have some splendificent fun together. <gasps> Bippity boppity boo. I come in pink and blue. You'll find me laying on a shelf. I'm perfect for tutus? Well, the only place for tutus is Tilly's Tutu Tailor. Hello, Tilly. What comes in pink and blue is on a shelf and is perfect for tutus. Huh, let's see. <gasps> the hats are pink and blue. Oh, but they aren't on a shelf. What do you think, Dreamy? Dreamy? Wake up, I need your help. I was helping. In my dream, I was on a shelf with beautiful tool in pink and blue. Hey, here they are! Oh, Dreamy! Your dreams are just what we needed! <laughs> hi-ho, hi-ho, hi-ho! We are very easy to throw or bounce us up into the air and see how high we'll go. An airplane! <laughs> Airplanes don't bounce. Bunnies bounce! Sultan, you can't throw a bunny! Whoops! Um... A ball! Yes! Lucy's Squeakin' Ball Shop! Hole in one! <laughs> Excuse us, Lucy. We need a ball. Big, small, squeaky, squawky, shimmery, shiny. <laughs> Actually, we need a bouncy ball. I have just the thing. <laughs> Yummy, tasty treats, delicious and nutritious, for this birdie to eat. Oh, birdies eat birdseed to Mr. Chow. Hello, Mr. Chow. Do you happen to have some birdseed? What are you looking for? Pecan pellets? Woodpecker walnuts? 
Chickadee chickory. How about a bird seed buffet? <laughs> Grocery list. <laughs> Blue <Wow. Wow. laughs> Splendid! I found one. Mmm, buried treasure for treasure. Huh? Hey! What did I tell you? Uh. Oh, yeah. Now treasure. I told you a hundred times. Um, I can't remember the rest. I know, I know. Now treasure. I told you a hundred times. The biscuits are for the Harvest Haven Royal Treat Feast. That's right. <laughs> Wait, I don't sound like that. Oh, Blueberry me. We'll never have enough biscuits for all the Crittersons at the feast. Ugh. Digging for biscuits is no fun. I want to play. I know. Let's play the Whisker Haven Biscuit Finding Champion Game. The Whisker Haven Biscuit Finding Champion Game? That sounds amazing! Whoever collects the most treats wins! Get ready! Get set! Harvest! <laughs> Petite, what are you doing? Research. How to harvest. First, find a tree with sneeze moss on it. Is this sneeze moss? Achoo! I guess so. Carver and Catfish! I got another one! Good job, treasure! Sultan scores! Yay, Sultan! Follow the direction of the sneeze moss for 17 paces. Petite, maybe you could try a little faster? Time's up! Let's see who won! Wait for me! Here's what I found. But there's nothing in it. <laughs> Ooh, not that! This! That little basket wasn't big enough for this biscuit. Bouncing blueberries! How did you find that? My big guide to Big Biscuits book. It's easy when you follow directions. <laughs> I think that definitely counts as the most treats. Get ready! The Whisker Haven Biscuit Finding Champion is going to ring the dinner bell. Oh, thank you. Let's see here. Dinner bell ringing manual. Step one, ring the bell. I can do that. Let the Harvest Haven Royal Treat Feast begin! <laughs> Biscuits! Sorry, Sultan. These biscuits are only for pets attending the tea party. That's the rule. It's right here in my tea party rule book. Tea parties have lots of rules. That's why they're fun. Can't believe I'm saying this. But can I play tea party with you? Please, please, please. You'd have to follow all the rules. No problem. <laughs> okay, I'm all fancy pants up. Now, biscuit me! Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. The rules say, before eating, we must make small talk. Small, 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 small. What are you doing? Uh, small talk? Can I have a biscuit yet? <sighs> All right. Sultan, would you care for a biscuit? You bet I would! Rule 27, be polite. Oh, I mean, yes, please, Barry. Oh, dear! You don't have a napkin. 
Uh, uh, oops, I'll get it. Oh, no, 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 no. You guys sit. But the rules say when someone leaves the table, we all have to stand and curtsy. <gasps> oh, no, glitter bits. Whoa. 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 A flying carpet just like Aladdin's. Whoa. Whoa. Sultan, help. I would, but I don't know the tea party helping rules. Forget the rules. I can do that. There's a section on dealing with flying carpets. I've got a better idea. And where we're going, we don't need rules. More biscuits, Sultan? Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Now, this is what I call a high flying tea party. <laughs> <laughs> Breezy does it. Steeplechase race ponies, at tonight's Royal Pony Palooza celebration, I will be giving an award to the pony that has best embraced all the elements of the royal heart of friendship. According to my Royal Pony Palooza rulebook, ponies' bridles and saddles must be finely decorated. Meow, meow, meow. But how are we going to get groomed and prepare our bridles and saddles? Never you fret, ponies. Deary, dearest me, who could that be? Yeehaw, it's me! I'll have those bridles and saddles decorated and dazzling by tonight. <laughs> Bree, are you sure you can finish everything by yourself? Sure! Just drop those bridles and saddles off in the stable and get to your grooming. Thanks, Bree! Giddy up, Boo-Roo! Rat'em, Cow Mouse! Oh, Bree! The saddles are going to be the hit of the Royal Pony Palooza celebration. Thanks! One down! <laughs> Nine to go! Oh, my! Blueberry pie! <gasps> I'm not going to finish in time! Wait! Barry and I would love to help you with the saddles. I don't want folks thinking I couldn't do it on my own. <laughs> no one is going to think anything like that, Bree. And letting your friends help is always something to be celebrated. Thank you so much! I'm so lucky to have such great friends. Now, let's do this! Hearts, hooves, paws! <laughs> Pony Palooza celebration begin! Meow, Nya Bella, ciao! Yay! <laughs> Our first Royal Pony Palooza award is for best sportsmanship, and the award goes to Bree. What? But <laughs> I'm not a pony. You may not be a pony, but without you, the Royal Pony Palooza would not have happened. Thank you, Bree. Thank you all so much! Pumpkin and Berry, can you come up here too? Because I couldn't have done this without you! 